Hi, my name is Steve Jones. I'm the executive director of DMARC.org, and I'm here at the MOG meeting in Atlanta with an update on email authentication. A few years ago, we introduced the DMARC protocol, which builds on SPF and DKIM and allows senders and receivers to cooperate in reducing fraudulent messages that impersonate a domain and keep those from reaching inboxes and the end users that they exploit. Uh, what's developed over the past year or so, as more and more senders and receivers uh, have adopted strong DMARC policies and started enforcing those policies, are cases where some services run into problems with those strong policies. Uh, for example, uh, you have uh, somebody at the sender who uses a mailing list. They send the message to the mailing list. The mailing list processes the message, changes a few things, sends it on to the destination. The problem arises in that the destination can't actually use a straight SPF or DKIM to authenticate or verify the message. And so if there is a strong DMARC policy in place, it might not deliver it. What we have been able to announce here at MOG this week is a new protocol called the Authenticated Received Chain. What this essentially does is allows that mailing list or other intermediary to record the authentication results as it observes them. So if a message from Yahoo goes to the mailing list, the mailing list verifies or authenticates the message, records those results, and is able to transmit that on with the message to the destination. The destination uh, performs the normal authentication checks uh, and is able to use ARC to check the results as the mailing list observed them. Since those were passing results and it knows the mailing list and can see that those results were transmitted intact from the mailing list, it's now able to correctly deliver that message as opposed to incorrectly putting that in the spam folder or not delivering it at all. And this is very important because, as we've seen in the past few years with the increased adoption of DMARC, and in particular with announcements in the past two weeks from Yahoo and Google, we are going to see increased uh, adoption of these strong, uh, these strong policies. We see more and more adoption of DMARC uh, for inbound filtering, especially in response to uh, not just the broad volume of phishing, but more targeted attacks like spear phishing and so forth. So now, with the ARC protocol, we can continue to move forward with the adoption of strong DMARC policies and with the enforcement of those policies and continue to reduce the number of phishing messages that are reaching end users. Now, if you want to know more about DMARC or other anti-abuse mechanisms, I invite you to view the other offerings on the MOG YouTube channel. And thanks for your time today.